Perfect. Time to do it. We're going to talk a little bit about the new G-Deck 3. I don't know if you guys have got wind of the new G-Deck amp. It's totally, unbelievably amazing. It's going to change uh, the industry in many ways. Well, let's play one of the grooves that we put in the amp. You guys remember it? All right. So if you get the amp, you actually get this groove with these guys playing on it. All right. You guys ready? Here we go. Something kind of funky. I think right out of the box, you'll be having fun with it. And it, if you want to go deep into it, you can. If you want to just use the presets that are there, you probably could just survive for months just playing with the presets, you know, before you even start to uh, change. And then the, the fact that you can record with it, you know, it has recording software that comes with it, so you can jam, record your ideas. Um, and I know Fender is going to support online, you know, tracks that people can download for free as more tracks get developed. And they're even creating a community where people can create their own sounds and trade presets. And I'm sure they'll be having people upload maybe like things that they jammed over some of the tracks so we can actually hear what musicians are doing over it. There's tracks on here that I, I listen to that I would say, wow, you know, I would never probably play on a, on, a, on a piece of music like that or a style of music that, you know, I even feel that I need work on. Because every musician, you know, you, you, you never stop learning. You never stop evolving as, as a musician. I've been playing guitar for 35 years and I'm still trying to find things that are new that I can experiment with. So what I tend to do is I might, I might scroll through and say, okay, you know, okay, let's hear this. played on that track that was the first time I ever played on that track because you know I looked at the title I'm thinking okay Strat Cat that might be kind of funky so I turned it on and I had to sort of slide around and find what key it's in but once I did it, the sound of the track inspired me to want to play in that style You know, the one thing that I do is I usually tune down a half step. You know, my whole guitar is tuned down to E flat, so every string is like one half step lower. Um, and a lot of guitar players now are starting to do that. They're starting to tune down a half step. So all the tracks that I donated were, were half step down, right out of the gate, so people should know that it's, it's the key of E flat. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I'm a big fan of the blues. The blues is sort of my foundation as a musician. And um, so a lot of the tracks that I put in, you know, they would probably have to use like the minor, you know, like a minor pentatonic scale, which is probably the most uh, popular scale. Uh, so if I go back to this one, 44, that I created, if you listen to it, you know, it's in the key of E minor, but it's a half step down, so it's actually E flat minor. So if you put it on and you even stand it, which this guitar is standard right now, you would play like a pentatonic scale. <laughs> At the 11th fret, you could play an E minor pentatonic scale. So that scale is going to work to play over that track, and uh, and it'll be hours of fun. Yeah, the great thing about the, uh, the G-Deck is there's so many tracks in there by my band, the Gary Hoey Band, uh, also John Five, who's one of my friends and a great guitar player. So let's check out what he put in here. I've never heard this yet. Pretty rocking. <laughs> Nice job, John. Love it. Sounds great.